out of your belly, share of love, rivers of living water, oh yeah, out of your belly, share of love, rivers of living water, y'all help me sing, out of your belly, share of love, rivers of living water. Welcome to the Men of Integrity, men that rescue men and women. We are delighted that you've joined us again for a journey through the Word of God. My beloved brethren, we are in that season. We're in that season of love. We're in that season of giving. We're in that season of excitement. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but should have everlasting life. That is a gift of God to you during this season and every season. It is a life-changing experience. It takes you from the guttermost to the uttermost mm. where you can experience the power, the love, the majesty, and the mercy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Call a neighbor, call a friend, and tell them to tune in because there is a word concerning you. Our co-host, Apostle J. Edward Fisher, Pastor Saint Center, Coppers Cove, and Colleen. All right, Bishop, yeah, and this is, uh, well, Jesus is the reason for the season, and, and, and this is one of the greatest times of, of the year that I like anyway, praise the name of the Lord. But, uh, but like you say, Jesus is not only the reason for the season, but he's the reason for every season. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, amen. This season was designed with you in mind. Mm -hmm. I want to take you to the conversation between King Zedekiah and Jeremiah in the 37th chapter of Jeremiah and verse 17. Then Zedekiah the king sent and took him out and the king asked him secretly in his house and said, is there any word from the Lord? Mm. And Jeremiah said, there is. For said he, thou shalt be delivered unto the hands of the king of Babylon. As we proceed into the next dimension of our life, 2022, we want to walk out of 2022, out of this season of joy and thanksgiving, remembering that there is a word from the Lord for this and for that. You have to wrap your mind around the fact that yes, there is a word from the Lord. Let me just help you with that for a quick moment. Malachi was the last prophet of the Old Testament. His name means messenger. He was the last prophet which prepared the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, which was the promise that God had promised you. 39 books of the Old Testament was about God's covenant his relationship with man, the blessed plan, the redemption, and the judgment of God. Then 400 years without an utterance from God, from 420 BC to the appearance of John the Baptist in the early first century AD, there was no utterance, no voice of God. The Christmas season really brought and reignited the communication between God and man. Because now, John, the revelator, John, the apostle, Saint John, now comes with a message that the kingdom of God is at hand. Mm -hmm. He starts the new conversation after 400 years of silence that God now wants to talk to man again. <laughs> well, you know, one thing about it is that uh, whatever God had promised, um, he was gonna bring to pass. And then somebody said, and even the writer said that uh, in the fullness of time, he came right on time, yes. right, right on time. That's, God is never late, but he's always on time. Absolutely. What is so interesting about the history, which we need to understand, that really brought in the, the, what we call the Christmas is the fact that people had lost their communication with God. 
Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Apostle, that were 400 years of spiritual silence mm. that left man scrambling and scuffling, trying to figure out for himself what it is that God is trying to say. Mm -hmm. Without revelation from God, you cannot find out or figure out what the will of God is. You cannot get yourself back in the position of blessings, amen, and prosperity without hearing the voice and the spiritual, amen, utterance that comes from God that leads man into all truth. Yeah, and you know, nothing, Nothing happens apart from the word of God. I mean, uh, there would have been no creation except God uh, said there would be. And, and uh, even today, watch this here, um, there is no revelation apart from the word of God. And the revelation that people are getting today, they better make sure that it lines up with the word of God. Absolutely. In 1 Samuel mm -hmm. 3 and 1, it says, and the word of the Lord was precious, meaning that it was rare. Mm -hmm. In those days, there was no open vision. Mm -hmm. What happened then? The next thing that happened was Israel came out of Egypt, 400 plus years of slavery. Apostle, they had seen the miraculous move of God like no other nation. Mm -hmm. But when they went into the promised land, when God began to bless them, after 200 years into the promised land, they went back into their adulterous ways, hmm. thinking and realizing that now they do not need God. We're almost in the same place that people now don't believe that they need to be guided by God's plan and God's rule. The counsel of God stands assured. That's right. And the word of God does not change. We need a word from God. Yeah, yeah. And God had been warning them, Bishop. He had been warning them. He said, when you get into the promise of the land, of the promised land, don't forget me. And um, just like then, even today, you know, a lot of us are doing good today, but we forgot where we came from. <laughs> I, I, absolutely. It, it, it's so, so bad that the question needs to be asked again. Is there a word from the Lord? Mm -hmm. When you look at your situation, when you look at your circumstance, especially during this season and this time, that the Christ was born for the purpose of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. God in Christ, 2 Corinthians 5 and 19, for God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, no longer counting people's sin against him. And he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. The Christmas season is about reconciliation, reestablishing the communication between God and man. All right, well, praise the name of the Lord. and and and. Uh, the psalm writer says, joy to the world, the Lord has come. Yes. Let earth receive her king. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, this is definitely, this is definitely a great time and, and, and a reminder of the re reconciliation and the blessing and the love of God for people. This time of season is not about decorative. It's not about lights. It's not about snow. It's not, not, not about hot chocolate. It's not about that fuzzy feeling. <laughs> it's not about that expectation of the gift that comes from Walmart. No, it's about an expectation to reestablish the relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. When the relationship, Apostle, is reestablished mm -hmm. with God, the power of God is now demonstrated in the earth and the people of God can now move from poverty to prosperity, from mm -hmm. hurt to healing. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need right now is the move of God, the direction of God that brings us healing during this season. Yeah, yeah. And and um, and in the time that we live in, the message is still there, though. I know it looks like um, nothing is going on and everything like that, but the message is still powerful and the message is still out there and uh, the Lord is still saying, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, 
Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. You shall find rest for your soul. Absolutely. I want you to understand that the enemy of your soul, mm -hmm. Satan, yes. amen, he wants you in this season <laughs> to feel depressed, mm. oppressed, broken, confused about what you may have, but you may not have, what you could have had, what everybody else had, mm. but this is not what this season is about. This season is about an opportunity for reconnection with God. Mm -hmm. Second Peter 3 and 9, here is what the record says to you. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises right. as some men count slackness, All right. but is long suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. When the Christmas season comes around every year, it's an opportunity to remind us until unto us a child is born, mm -hmm. a son is given. Uh -huh. You know, it's the opportunity for us to remember that this is the time of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. This is the time that God begins to speak to us. This is the time he spoke to us and gave us direction how to come out of the dark into the marvelous light. Yeah, and this great act of God giving his only begotten son, praise the name of the rarely will anybody die for a good man, but while we were yet sinners, mm. Christ died for us. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's break it down and let's take a look at this as it relates to there is a word concerning your situation. Mm -hmm. Well, to the world, God is saying, John 3, 16 and 17, mm -hmm. for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but through the world, through him might be saved. Mm -hmm. That's the message to the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, praise the name of the Lord. And um, uh, that message there um, is, is, uh, will be to the world, praise the name of the Lord. Uh, as time goes on, praise the name of the Lord, God doesn't have to change and he won't change. And, 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 and uh, you know, you can't got to get around this here. It's hard to get around this here. He so loved the world. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. He didn't love the world. He so loved the world. What's in that? What's in that? So, I mean, <laughs> you can't even fathom how deep it is. Praise the name of the Lord. But praise the name of the Lord. Uh, we may not be able to find out how deep it is, but we know, watch this here, but the demonstration of it is that he gave. I, I, absolutely. It's so mind-boggling that the angels that have been with him in eternity <laughs> asked him, who art man mm -hmm. that thou art mindful, mindful of him? Uh, all right. That was a word to the backslider. The word to the backslider is to return. Mm. Isaiah 44 and 22. You need to hear me tonight. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me for I have redeemed thee. Mm -hmm. God is talking to us mm -hmm. and he's saying to us that, listen, you can come back. I've already redeemed you. I've already made the way. So here is a word for you that have fallen away from God, have backslid and feel condemned and so unworthy, amen, to get up and come back. You embarrassed. But God said, here is a word for you. Mm. I blotted out your sins yeah. and I've redeemed you. Yeah. Uh, um, there's a song that says Jesus will fix it. And he fixed it. He has yeah. already fixed it. So, um, so that's why the gospel is going out. People have different concepts about God, but the concept that God wants us to have is that he gave his son is fixed. Praise the name. Now he says, come. All you got to do is come. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, we, I've done it all for you. I've fixed it for you. I've made a way for you. Now you have to come. There's a word concerning your situation mm -hmm. in Malachi chapter 3 and verse number 7. Even from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinance and have not kept them. Mm -hmm. Return unto me and I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. But you said, wherein shall we return? God has given us a way out. Mm -hmm. The word of God is speaking to us. He said, listen, 
turn back to me, come back to me, and I'll come back to you. Yeah, and you know what I think? God, he really doesn't have to do that. So what is it about God? Watch this here. He, he's not loving us because of what we look like. It's something deep inside of him uh, that you just can't grab. But watch this here. But he loves man. Pray, And he's just a good God. The Bible says he's good to all. And sometimes we don't understand that. We, we're looking at, say, well, why does this guy does here? And he's not even coming after God. Because God is a good God. That's why. Amen. <laughs> well, in Revelations 2 and 5, God says, here's a word for you. Mm -hmm. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. Mm. Remember what tripped you up. Remember what lured you away from me. Remember what happened and repent. repent. God says, all I want you to do is repent mm -hmm. and do your first works. Mm -hmm. Else I will come unto thee quickly, remove thy candlestick out of its place, except you repent. You have to come to a place where you understand this is not going to work without God. <laughs> Praise the name without Lord. God, you can do nothing. You can do nothing. You have to stop and say, is there a word from God concerning this? Because this thing has me wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in failure. Mm -hmm. But I can win if there's a word from the Lord. And, and there is a word from the Lord. And he says, come on, there it is, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. All ye, praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> well, that's, that, that's where I'm going. His word to the law says, come. Uh -huh. So many people are confused. So many people say, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Well, Matthew 11, 28 through 29, come on now. is what the apostle just quoted to you. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me. Mm -hmm. Apostle, people have to learn right. how to step into God's miracles. Mm -hmm. They have to learn how to abide in him and let him abide in you. Mm -hmm. They have to learn how to walk into the presence and stay in the presence of this great God. He says, learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest. Aren't you tired of struggling? <laughs> Aren't you tired of wrestling? Aren't you tired of being That's broken? Right. That's he right. says that I have rest for you, mm -hmm. but you got to come. But you got to come. That's all he's saying. Just come. And then he picks it up and says, whosoever will. Somebody says, well, you know, I don't think God would, uh, would uh, take me. Oh, no, no. Whosoever. Whosoever. <laughs> Revelation 22 and 17. <laughs> and the spirit and the bride said, come. And let him that uh, hear it say come, and let him that is a thirst come, mm -hmm. and whosoever will, let him, let him come and drink of the water freely. freely. This thing is so powerful that he says, listen, you don't need nothing. Just come as you are. Yeah. And if you drink of this living water, mm -hmm. you won't ever thirst again. That makes me think about what Jesus, when he was talking to the lady, right? He said, if you know who was talking to you, you would ask him for the living water, which would be a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Praise the name That's of the word. Lord. That's a word. That's a word. From the Lord. <laughs> you have to know who you're dealing with. You got to right. know who you're talking Come to. Come on now. The enemy wants you to be bamboozled and confused. <laughs> no, if you get on your knees and if you pick up your Bible and if you ask for help from godly counsel, from the pastor, from, from people that are in charge, from people that are walking this word of God, they will help you to see who God is. Mm -hmm. And then you will ask, is there a word from the Lord? Uh -huh. And the Lord will speak concerning your situation. Here it is, Apostle, that you jump in. His word to the sick. Mm, mm. Will thou be made whole? My God, you got it. Lord. You know, God is, is, is the healer. And you have to understand something that this great salvation he's wrought through Jesus Christ, the same place you were forgiven is the same place you were healed. Mm. You can't have it both ways. You understand what I'm saying? So you can not only just claim that I'm forgiven, but claim your healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Make me want to get up and dance right here. Because there are so many people that are sick. Oh, amen. They're, they're sick physically. They're, they're sick psychologically. That's they're, right. they're emotionally sick. But John 5 and 6, and Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case. Mm -hmm. And he said unto him, what apostle? <laughs> Will thou be made whole? Will you be made whole? Come on. There is a word from the Lord, and the word of the Lord is asking you, 
Will you be made whole? Talk to me about that. Well, you know, some people have a lot of excuses why they're not. But he didn't, he didn't ask, he didn't ask, and the, the guy said, he said, well, I have nobody to put me in. And Jesus said, that's not what I ask you. I asked you what you would be made. And, 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 and you, know, you know the story. The know the story is that, watch this here, nobody actually came to put him in, but the healer was standing right then and there. Praise the name of the Lord. And so God is saying the same thing today. I know, I know it looks like it's impossible, but as uh, Jeremiah said, oh, Lord God, nothing is too hard. For D. You're just going to have to put your trust in the Lord. Again, there he comes and he say, come and you shall it. find rest. You're on <laughs> it. You're on it. Yeah. Okay. Will you let me make you whole? That's right. If you will let me make you whole, watch what John chapter, uh, James chapter 5, 14 and 15 says. Yeah. If it, there are any sick among you. Let him call for the elder. Do what? <laughs> call for the elder. Let him call. Listen, the ER don't come to you. <laughs> urgent care doesn't come to you. You get up and go to urgent care. You get up and go to the emergency room. You get up and go see your come primary on care come on doctor. Now. The Bible says call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over you, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And mm -hmm. here's what you quoted earlier. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sin, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another. Pray for one another that you may be healed. That's a package deal right here. That's right. And that's for today, too. That's not stuff and going by. That's for the day. The Bible says Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. What he did yesterday, he can do today, and he'll be able to do forevermore. Yes. But the <laughs> word says, mm -hmm. call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the word says, come. Mm -hmm. You have to obey the word of God. You can be standing there in, in gaze. You can be standing there looking like a deer in headlights. You can be standing there crying. You can be standing there broken. If you do not be obedient to what Amen. the word says that comes to you, my beloved, there is nothing God could do. He could not heal the man unless the man says, yes, I want to be made whole. That's right. That's right. And, and, and you see it all through when he walked the earth, praise the name of the Lord. Mainly what he did was heal the sick. Uh, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Come on. Who here. went about doing good. Healing is good, and God wants to be good to you, and he's a good God, and he's got the credential, he's got the record, praise the name of the Lord. Now, again, he's just simply saying, call, come, repent, turn. <laughs> so many people are oppressed by oppressed, the devil. Oppressed, that's right. So many people are wrapped up in strongholds in their mind. Mm-hmm. But if you do not ask the question, is there a word from the Lord concerning my situation? It's possible that you will stay in your situation forever. But there is a word from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And when the word of God is preached, you have to embrace it. When the word of God is being taught, you have to embrace it. But if you're not in a place where the word of God is being released, it's possible that you will not know enough about God, hear enough about God to make any move towards God. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't go to a lot of people's house. People heard where he was mm -hmm. and the multitude came. Wow. And when they came to where he was, mm -hmm. the power of God was released. They heard what he said, and he said, in many cases, your faith has made you whole. How do you acquire faith? Faith coming by him. hearing and, and hearing, hearing the, word the word of God. Of God. Yes, praise the name of the Lord. And so, you know, we just got to give that message. You know, I was reading something, Bishop, and the, the guy said that, well, miracles are not happening today and everything. Well, that's not what the real Bible says. The Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Whatever, God never changes. So whatever he was, he still is, and he'll be forevermore. Absolutely. 
And here is the word that he sent to the doubter. Mm -hmm. He says, go <laughs> revisit this word. Mm -hmm. Mark 9 and 23. All right. Jesus says unto him, if thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Why are there no miracles? Because there are no believers. Uh, uh, there you go. Are you listening? There you go. Wherever there is a believer, the power of God will ignite that situation. You have believe. You know, we have more complainers than we have <laughs> believers. <laughs> Come on now. We have more doubters than we have believers. Why? Because people listen. They listen to the uh, propaganda of unbelief Amen. rather than listen to the word of God that produces faith. Mm -hmm. So the more I listen to the strategies of unbelief, I buy into doubt and unbelief. Mm -hmm. But there is a word of God for the believer. In 2 Chronicles 20 and 20, jumping right here. And they went forth. Jehoshaphat stood and said, hear me, O Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. A lot of people believe that. Uh -huh. And so shall you be established. Come on now. You say, but do you prosper? Mm -hmm. He says, believe in his prophet and so shall you prosper. Yeah. What's the purpose of being saved if you're not going to prosper? That's right. Praise the name of the Lord. And I like what you just quoted that scripture. And it says, believe in your prophets. Now watch this here. Well, where are the prophets at? Well, they're in the church. You need to come back to the church. church. Why is this here? Call on the elders. Praise the name of the Lord. God has set this thing into motion, but you have to do your part. Praise the name of the Lord. And you've got to get the right word. Why is this here? The word rightly divided. Otherwise, you understand what I'm saying? People are saying God doesn't do this and God. Why is this here? God does everything he did and he can do and he will do and he hasn't changed. Absolutely. <laughs> the prophet is not the person That's right. that always speaks to your flesh. The prophet is not the person that is always talking to you about tangible things, fleshly things, earthly things. The prophet of God is always speaking to you so that you will realign yourself with the kingdom word of God. Because if you seek first the kingdom of God, and its righteousness, all these things shall be added unto you. Mm -hmm. What well, does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? No, you're looking to hear from a prophet that is going to speak to your alignment, going to speak, glory to God, to your doubt, mm -hmm. and going to reconnect you with the word of God, and you're going to be empowered to live and move by the authority of God's word. You have about 20 seconds. Yeah, and you and 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 the real prophet of God is going to speak to you what God said. That's what you, that's what you want. Praise the name of the Lord. What God says is what God is going to uh, watch over. He watches over his word to perform it, not some other word, but his word. And his word will not fail. That's right. I need you to ask the question. Is there a word from the Lord? And the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. We are the men of integrity. We are praying for your miracle. Out of your bed, out of your, out of your.